What's up guys, welcome to another video, this time we are in Toka 2 Touring Car Championship, we'll be doing a single race in the rain with Lister Storm in Donington Park Grand Prix which is the extended bonus track version, and I'll be using the default setup for a bit of challenge. As you can see we are trying out an input LM3 tool from SimHub, so I was monitoring my fan attack inputs in the background. And we are off for a really quick start, because we are feathering the throttle and being very gentle with the inputs, we get a massive advantage before turn 1. The car really wants to slide, probably because the track is quite damp and we are on intermediates. We can hear and feel that the car is sliding a little bit and dancing a little bit because of the rain. We will be having a massive slide here and we won't be able to correct it. We try to correct it, but better to avoid spinning, just keeping it straight. Whoa, we got hit from behind, someone has crashed into us, the red car hit into us, that's why we were sliding around, lots of contact there, I hope we don't have too much damage and that we can proceed with the race. We've got a lot of catching up to do to recover the advantage that we had on the start. This is a massive braking zone here, lots of potential for lockups and slides. So the right rear side of the car is looking pretty damaged with the broken brake lights, the diffuser and even the rear wing a little bit bent. This hairpin doesn't exist on the championship version of the track, only on the bonus version, the Grand Prix version of Donington Park. On our next move we went a little bit dirty, we even broke the right side window on our car as well. So this was our very eventful first lap, going fast into turn 1 we gotta be careful. Massive slides into T1, I believe we are getting slides in the braking zone because we need to brake in a bit more straighter line and also be more careful with the throttle on exit. On the next corner we correct it and get much cleaner lines. To make Toka 2 touring cars look like this I'm using the silent patch, the DG Voodoo which is a rendering API for older games that makes them run well on Windows 10 and I'm also using Reshade on top of everything else. Again into the big braking zone here, we don't want to lock up. Whoa, we got punted from behind by the AI, but we were able to correct the slide. As you can see, the rear end of the car was pretty loose. Late braking. We go a bit deep into the corner. And we are already in third position before the last corner of the second lap. Whoa, that corner has lots of bumps. The car really wants to break traction there, and we just did the fastest lap entering the third lap of this race. We seem to be getting into a good rhythm. A little bit of oversteer, but nothing too bad, easily correctable. Now we have to be really smooth in the fast corners. The car was fishtailing here, I felt it oversteering in both directions out of that corner. But by pushing so hard we have this massive ice advantage and we just do an overtake really easy and quick. Another oversteer moment we just corrected and now we are following P1 into the big braking zone. I brake nice and early, try to get a faster exit. Finally we are at the lead of the race, we have to check the rear view mirrors to see if the car is close to us, I believe he is quite close to us or even side by side at this point, so we need to defend our position as best as we can. Whoa, massive slides here, that corner is getting pretty dangerous. This will be one of the fastest laps of the race and one of my best laps with Lister Storm on the rain. 
we are coming to a strong braking zone we try to coast a bit try to accelerate early keep a high apex speed now we gotta be very smooth on the fast sweeping corners try to keep traction on the rear tires i had to lift off a bit again just a dab on the brakes coast try to accelerate early i have to lift off here because the car wants to slide again so here we keep it in fifth try to keep very strong rear end traction for the next corner i won't be coasting and i'll be in fourth gear so i try to accelerate early we got a little bit of oversteer so we gotta be general on the draw very important to have a great exit on the corner for the back straight big straight line braking into coasting a bit into the chicken then we accelerate in third as soon as we can to try to minimize rear end spinning over steer and maximizing top speed on the straight deep into the hairpin with the wide line so we maximize mid corner speed there short shifting to third again as well last corner is a bit similar to the hairpin but it's a bit more bumpy so we gotta be very careful we got this massive oversteer moment but we just correct it for a 119.2 this was by far one of my best laps on these conditions with this car and I had great fun doing it. Now all we have to do is to just cruise to the end of the race. Unfortunately the replay camera bugs out and the replay only lasted 3 laps I believe. If you have nostalgia for the late 90s racing and British touring cars, this game is quite funny to scratch up that itch. The gameplay is modded to a point where it's barely recognizable. I have also used some third-party softwares to adapt my Fun Attack Podium DD1 and V3 pedals to work on it really well. And I've also tried to cap the FPS in some of my many softwares in 70 or 80 FPS so we don't break too much the physics because the physics are linked to the FPSs. I hope you guys had fun and discovered something new about Toka 2. I certainly had fun and I invite you guys to subscribe to my channel, like the video and comment on it. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you around. Have a great time.